Hey everyone, I don't know if I'm going to let this uh, video get posted or not. It's an evening video and the lighting is always strange in the evening. So I'll take a look at it when I'm done and then I'll decide if this is going to go or not. But I'm actually doing my weekly check-in a little early because I think I'm going to work tomorrow. And Saturday morning is usually my time to myself. I have like this three or four hour block where my daughter's at work and I get to sleep in. And I usually just like to putz around the house and I get on the computer and that's when I usually do my video. But tomorrow I think I'm going to be going to work so I'm only gonna have an hour or two of my time. So I thought I'd do my weekend check-in, weekly check-in a little early. Oh. Yep. Okay. Got the timer. So, um, I'll start with the numbers. I did peak this morning, so I'm kind of glad I did. And um, technically, Saturday morning is my weigh-in day, so I don't take anything serious between Saturday to Saturday. You know, um, I peak every once in a while, but for the most part, I try not to. And uh, I, anything I read, I don't take seriously. We have, I have a scale, I swear it's alive, and it doesn't let you peak. I'm, I'm not kidding you. If, if, you're, if your weigh-in day is Saturday, and Monday morning you, you try and peak on the scale, for the first weight, first it'll just jiggle all over the place, and it'll stop at something ridiculous, you know, like 12 pounds less. And you'll be like, oh, wow, no, that can't be. And then you get off and you get back on and then it'll tell you that you gained eight pounds. I'm not kidding. It does this. And then you get off because you know that can't be right. And you get back on and, you know, it goes back to the weight that you were, you know, three days ago. I mean, like, there's no credibility. But every Saturday morning I get on it and it tells me and it's like, I don't know. And then it's alive. There's something very strange about that. Anyway, I don't know how I got off on that tangent. So, um, I did peak this morning and I was uh, 237. So that's a three pound weight loss this week. Um, trying to get down to 230. I, I'm really psyched uh, for the next 30 or 40 pounds because I think that that's when I'll really see uh, some serious change. And although I do see change now, I looked at some of my my like my first or second or third video oh my gosh okay even I can see the difference I don't yeah okay I only have seven minutes left so three pound weight loss this week uh, 237 um, I decided that I really want to try and hit 200 pounds by the first of the year that's 37 pounds I got what three months so, and I've been averaging about 10 pounds a month, so maybe if I really rev it up, clean it up, and do everything, um, maybe I can go 37 pounds between now and the end of the year. That is my goal. Also, at the end of the year, I'll be at six months, and everybody keeps telling me I'm on this honeymoon phase, and you know, at six months, I'm gonna wake up and boom, my cravings will be back, and it'll be a lot harder, and my stomach will want more or I'll be able to eat more or something. Anyway, I understand that like the real test comes somewhere around six months and that'll be at the first of the year. So that means I may have to really, you know, go have a process to get the last 50 pounds off. So um, anyway, so that's my goal. I'm going to try and hit 200 pounds by the first of the year. And I'll probably think. So today, today... I went to the mailbox. First, I was really happy because I got my copy of the magazine where Katie July wrote some articles, so I can't wait to read those tonight. So I was really happy. Then I was happy again because I got my first non-fat lady catalog. Like, okay, I get a fat lady catalog or three in the mail every day from the same companies, same stuff. I can't wait until I can call. No more catalogs from the fat lady company. Anyway, I'm not going to order anything, but it was nice to look through and go, I could wear that. I could wear that. I could wear that. I could spend 
in five minutes if somebody would write me a check. Okay, but my bubble was short-lived because also in the mailbox, I received this. Do you see that? Every one of you is going to get one of these one day. Yes, sir. My first official communication from the AARP. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this time next year I will be an entirely new demographic. Okay. Getting old sucks. <laughs> it really does. So, um, I'm doing fine. Food is fine. I'm really trying to be good with the vitamins and the exercise and the water and all of that. And um, I'm hanging in there. Hair is falling out like crazy. And um, I'm not kidding. And still no obvious ball patches. But, man just not what it used to be and I can literally just run my fingers and get like three or four hairs like every time I do that so it's bad and I went to support group last week and they had some bariatric doctor there and he was talking about hair loss and he said um, it's from an extreme change in your metabolism and your hair follicles just shut down and they do it all the time as part of their growth process, but I guess because of the shock to your system, it's a lot more shut down, and that's why your hair falls out. And he said, and this was very depressing, and oh, please be wrong, um, that it'll continue until you hit goal and your weight stabilizes and your metabolism says, okay, this is, this is my new norm. I, I can quit freaking out now. Hit goal and stabilize. I will be bald. Okay, so three minutes. Um, mentally, I'm really impatient right now. I really want the physical part of, of this process to be over because I really want to know where I'm going to end up and what I'll be capable of doing. I'm sort of having a career crisis and I need to figure out what my options are and if some of my options are viable because, you know, some jobs are more physical than others. I may want to be a, a, an iron worker and build skyscrapers and leap from beam to beam 20 stories up. Not likely. But you know what I mean? That's That has physical requirements that my current job does not. And um, so I'm, I'm anxious to, to be healed and to be as far as I'm going to get so that I know, you know, who I'm going to end up because I need to figure some things out. And um, my daughter's going to be leaving home next summer, so it's a prime time for me to be completely self-centered and not have to feel guilty. And a distraction will be nice. So I, I have to figure out what I'm going to do, and um, I'm not sure what it is yet. So I'm anxious to see um, where I'll be in six months. And I know that, you know, there's nothing I can do to speed up the process. You know, I can do my part, continue to lose weight, continue to exercise, focus on getting stronger, you know, blah, 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 blah. But I, I wish I had a crystal ball and I could just fast forward and have a peek so that I could plan appropriately. Does that make sense? Okay. My hair is a mess. My timer's off. I'm tired. It's Friday night. It's time to go put on my jammies and veg. Everybody have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.